Hello, everybody. I miss the smell of coffee in the lobby. I miss that beautiful picture of cars pulling into the parking lot. I miss the smiles. I miss the handshakes. I miss the conversations. I miss that conversation with that person I've never met before. And I miss that conversation with people I know really well. I miss watching the musical instruments being played, and I miss the live sermon and the Lord's Supper. I miss the benediction being spoken over all of us. I guess what I'm saying is I miss everything. I miss everything. This is the Lord's Day these Sundays, and I miss it all, and he intended us to be together. But you know what I really miss? I miss that picture of heads bowed and eyes closed and hearts united when a whole bunch of people are just calling out quietly or out loud to God. I wonder if over these last three months, you've been like me, you've sensed that maybe God is just simply teaching me the value of prayer. You can't go to movies and you can't fly anywhere and you can't go to restaurants and you can't go to sporting events, but you sure can pray. And while our whole country's changing, nobody's ever gonna make a law that says you can't pray. And even if they did, we wouldn't obey that. We'd still pray. But you know, what is really beautiful is when we pray together. I've told you before the Swedish proverb that I enjoy so much, but I'm going to tell you it again. That Swedish proverb goes this way. A shared joy is a double joy, and a shared sorrow is a half sorrow. That's what happens when you and I close our eyes and bow our heads and unite our hearts and pray together. So would you join me on June the 24th, that's a Wednesday, June the 24th, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. in F1. Let's bow our head and close our eyes and, and pray. And if we have too many people, we'll move in the fellowship hall. It'll all be clean. It'll all be sanitized. You don't have to worry. But let's just come together and pray. I want to read to you from Psalm 91. Psalm 91, God's actually talking. And in verse 15, he says, when he calls to me, in other words, you and I as his children, when he calls to me, I will answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. I look forward to seeing you on the 24th. Let's pray.